when I first heard about what was going on with Gosnell and inside of his clinic, I I can't say that I was really surprised. Um, I think it's been, I mean, I think just on a very visceral, emotional level, of course, it's it's horrifying to hear what was going on inside of his clinic. But I know that this is taking place in other abortion facilities as well. And I remember talking with one of our, our workers that's come through our ministry, and she sat down and read the grand jury report. And she called me, and she was in tears, and she said, Abby, I, I remember these sorts of things happening in the clinic where I worked. And so we know that it's not isolated. You know, we saw in Florida where a lobbyist from Planned Parenthood basically said, look, if a baby's born alive, then that's up to the mother and the doctor whether or not that baby will survive. And I, I, that's been Planned Parenthood's position the whole time. Um, and so I, I can't say that I was really surprised when I heard it, but I was, I was very saddened. And, but also in a way thankful that this was coming to light because I've heard from a lot of people who were either considered themselves pro-choice or were on the fence about abortion. They've seen this, they've seen the coverage of this trial and it has changed their mind. You know, people want to think that abortions are done in a, a sterile and, and safe and clean environment, but the majority are not. And so I've been glad that this has been brought to light and that people are now getting to see what's really taking place behind the doors of those abortion facilities.